Can a heat-seeking missile track a target in hell? Air laden with sulfur, boiling seas of lava, acid rains on areas that aren't molten and when you think you're safe, you hear the screams of the damned coming after you. This is hell. Or is it? High above the acid clouds, two forces battle it out in the sky. One is a flying sword of steel that unleashes strange purple flames at its rear and unleashes bolts of light against its foe. The other is a hideous abomination truly worthy of this hell. Though it may not have wings, it flew through the air with the same grace as its opponent. It used fantasy-like powers to keep it aloft. The sword of steel went on the offensive, it unleashed long flames in the shape of diamonds and shot upwards, even higher than the demon, into the air. The sword of steel aimed its tip downwards and shot down towards the demon at tremendous speed, unleashing a boom as it went. The demon foresaw its impending doom and dove downwards as well. The two of them disappear from view, into the clouds. From an outsider's point of view, only the strange whine of the sword and the occasional roar of the demon could be heard. But rods of light punched holes through the clouds and out came the demon followed closely behind by the sword. To evade the sword, the demon flew even lower, below the clouds and over a sea of lava. The heat emanating from the lava made the air shimmer. The one piloting the sword wasn't about to give up, he followed the demon even closer, as close to the lava as his engines would allow him to. Firing the 20mm rotary cannons didn't work, they somehow keep missing the demon, some shots hit but they ricocheted on some sort of invisible barrier. He only has one more missile. Unfortunately, it is a heat-seeking missile. One that may work on the demon, given his incredibly high body temperature. If they were in normal conditions, that is. Unless. It depends on the missile's capabilities and on the demon's physiology. However, if the missile is capable of detecting. Any. Heat gradient, and the demon's biology is roughly restricted by the laws of physics that is, based on some kind of chemistry and incapable of breaking the second law of thermodynamics, it should be able to. The reason is as follows, in order for any creature to function, its body temperature must be at a constant level. Depending on its chemical makeup, this body temperature may be higher than that of earthly life, but it will die if it gets too cold or too hot. Now, it stands to reason that demons are warm-blooded. Cold-blooded animals can only function well under fairly specific temperatures, but this demon is capable of fighting both in and out of hell. So it probably has some mechanism for controlling its body temperature regardless of the surroundings. If the demon's normal body temperature is higher than hell's ambient temperature, the demon will use some kind of mechanism to keep its temperature high, like shivering. This means the heat-seeking missile can track it. If the demon's normal body temperature is lower than hell's ambient temperature, the demon must use some kind of mechanism to move heat away from its body. Earth animals use panting or sweating. Demons probably use a more efficient method. But the thing is that the heat has to go somewhere. And the mechanism used to move the heat around must generate heat, because of the second law of thermodynamics. Think about the part of an air conditioner that sticks outside. If it able to cool off the air inside, the outside will always be hotter than the ambient outside temperature. This means that the heat radiating from the demon must always be higher than the surrounding temperature. Even if the demon's own body temperature is lower than its surroundings. That means a heat-seeking missile can track it. Note that this only applies to the demon's temperature relative to the surrounding air. If there are smaller sources of heat that are hotter than the medium through which the demon flies, like lava pools, the missile may get confused and target them instead.